Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to add Kuro's DNS server to our internet connection. Basically, it just blocks the Sony servers and gives us easier access to his hosts. But yeah, let's just jump right in. Before we begin, this step is not necessary, but it's just what I do to prevent anything from happening while I add the DNS in. Okay, so I just unscrew the coaxial cable from the back of my modem here. It'll just act as a rotor with no outside internet connection just until I add the DNS. Okay, so now we have that unplugged. We can go over to settings. We'll go to network. We'll go ahead and check connect to the internet. And we'll go into set up internet connection. Now there's two options here. You can either use Wi-Fi or LAN. Both are done with the same process. So we'll just go to Wi-Fi for this video. And we'll go to custom. And then we'll go and choose our Wi-Fi that we're going to use. Go ahead and type in our password. Go ahead and hit done. And we'll hit OK. Okay, from here we're going to get our IP address automatically. DHCP we will not specify. And DNS manual. Now if you do have other DNS servers in there you can go ahead and delete them out. And the one that we're going to be using is 85.214.115 one one five now uh, there we go dot three three go ahead and hit done and we can remove that second one there we do not need it anymore and then we'll go ahead and hit next uh, MTU settings we'll do automatic and proxy server do not use okay we can go ahead and test the internet connection but we're not going to get outside so now that we have the DNS in, we can just hit back out of there. We can go ahead and plug the coaxial cable back into the modem. Okay, so we'll put that back in and we'll make sure that we get it nice and tight. And then we'll jump back onto the PS4. Okay, so now that we have that plugged in, we can go ahead and back out of here. Go ahead and launch our browser. We can do the usual, just close everything, clear everything. I pretty much have everything done already. We'll go into settings and delete our cookies and clear our website data just to be sure. Go ahead and go into our bookmarks. And I have a bookmarked up here. This will be the only host that you'll be able to access. And if you try to add access any other ones, they will be blocked. Uh, yeah, nothing will work. Even if you go to Caro's IR host, it does not come up. It is blocked as well. So we'll go ahead and close that out. And we can go into our bookmarks. And we'll go to his GitHub host. And as you can see, it comes up with no issues. Go ahead to 7.55a. And we'll go with the latest jailbreak. And we'll give it a few moments here to install the cache. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, just about 50% now. And there we go, 100%. We go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Go over to Settings. Go to Network and on check Connect to the Internet. Go ahead and launch the browser. Okay, so there's one. <coughs> Okay, and we are going in now. There's 50%. And 100%. Okay, so we'll choose the latest jailbreak, which is July 21st, 2021. Give it just a few moments, and it should bring us right in.
Okay, so we're done there. We can go ahead and launch Goal 10 1.1. Waiting for the payload. Launching the payload. And Gold 1.1 loaded. We can also load Orbis's toolbox. It's another great payload that I like using. So go ahead and select it. Waiting for payload. Launching the payload. And Orbis's Toolbox 1.0 loaded. So we can go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. We can see that Orbis's Toolbox is up. We can go into Settings. Our Toolbox settings are here. And we can go down, and I will show you that we do have Debug settings. And everything is there. We can go ahead and launch a game. Go ahead and launch Modern Warfare 2. And there you go. That is it. So if you did like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.